morning as you head out the door. This morning we begin with Way 31's Will Robinson Smith. Yeah, that's right. I just got off the phone with the Lauderdale County Emergency Management Agency director. He tells me that because of the heavy rains that are pushing through the shoals right now, they've got reports of trees down on the roadways on County Road 7 and County Road 639. There's also some water on the roadway at County Road 47. That's near Shoals Creek. A Decatur doctor is now facing four more sexual assault accusations. Rheumatologist Dr. Michael Dick was arrested in January of 2018 on misdemeanor harassment charges. And ever since then, the complaint list has been growing against him. In 2018, it started off with six women, then increased to 27, and now it's at 31. Rodnia. That investigation is underway near Ardmore, but across the state line. The Madison County Sheriff's Office said a 72-year-old woman was shot and killed. It happened in a home off Elkwood Section Road. The Sheriff's Office has not released any information about possible suspects. A hit and run suspect is still on the run this morning. The victim that was hit is listed in critical condition. The crime happened on St. Clair Avenue in Huntsville. The man who was hit was taken to the hospital. If you have any information that can help investigators, contact police. Happening today, a local church is helping people affected by the storms in Louisiana. Decatur Church of Christ is sending a 16-foot trailer full of supplies today to Hurricane Barry victims. The trailer leaves at 10 this morning. happening today. Former astronaut Buzz Aldrin will be in Huntsville to help celebrate the 50th anniversary of Apollo 11. Aldrin is one of the astronauts of the historic landing. Today he will be giving the keynote speech at Aerospace States Association Annual Awards Dinner. Lieutenant Governor Will Ainsworth will be there as well. Ainsworth is the chair of the association. The dinner will be at 630 in the Saturn V Hall at the Space and Rocket Center. Rob? We do have a new crash uh, southbound on I-65. You'll notice that uh, this is just east of Decatur. Uh, lane is blocked at uh, exit 340. The big concern this morning is for flash flooding. Some of these thunderstorms are producing some gusty winds. We have a flash flood warning in place for parts of Lauderdale and Colbert County through 930 this morning. As you heard from Will, we've got reports of some trees down, even some roads covered with some water uh, in this area. So please take it slow if you're traveling this morning. And even into Limestone County, we're starting to see some of that heavy rain moving in. Frank Franklin County also dealing with quite a bit of rainfall, so poor visibility and poss the possibility of some roads covered with water. So if you run into some water on the roadways, please turn around. Do not drown. All right. Thank you, Rob. For 24-7 coverage you can count on, go to waytv.com. We'll see you back here.